Definition of Placer or Deposits Placer or deposits, commonly referred to simply as placers, are concentrations of valuable minerals formed by gravity separation during sedimentary processes. These deposits are typically found in alluvial, fluvial, or marine environments where natural forces such as water, wind, or ice act to concentrate heavy, resistant minerals from a parent rock. The formation of placer deposits involves several stages, including weathering, transportation, and deposition. Formation Process Weathering, the initial stage involves the weathering of primary mineral deposits, often occurring in the bedrock. Weathering processes break down rocks, releasing mineral particles into the environment. For example, gold, platinum, tin, and gemstones like diamonds are liberated from their original loads or veins. Transportation, once the minerals are freed, they are transported by agents such as water, rivers, streams, and oceans, wind, or glaciers. During this transportation, lighter and less resistant materials are washed away, while heavier and more resistant minerals remain. This selective sorting is due to differences in density, size, and shape of the mineral particles. Deposition, the final stage is the deposition of these heavy minerals in a new location. This typically occurs in areas where the energy of the transporting medium decreases, allowing the heavier particles to settle. Common depositional environments for placer deposits include riverbeds, floodplains, beaches, and offshore areas. Characteristics of placer deposits Grain size The minerals found in placer deposits are often well-rounded due to the mechanical weathering and transport processes. However, the grain size can vary from fine particles to large nuggets, depending on the mineral's hardness and the transport distance. Mineral composition, placer deposits are usually composed of minerals that are heavy and resistant to weathering. These include gold, platinum, cassiterite, tin ore, ilmenite, titanium ore, rutile, zircon, magnetite, and gemstones such as diamonds, sapphires, and rubies. Concentration. The concentration of valuable minerals in placer deposits is often significantly higher than in the original source rock. This makes placers economically important for mining operations, as they can be more easily and cheaply extracted compared to primary deposits. Types of placer deposits. Alluvial placers, found in riverbeds and floodplains, these are formed by the action of running water. Examples include the gold deposits of California and the tin deposits of Southeast Asia. Alluvial placers, formed close to the source rock, these deposits result from weathering processes that do not involve significant transportation. Gravity is the primary sorting mechanism here. Beach placers, these are formed by wave action along coastlines. The heavy minerals are concentrated by the continuous washing action of waves. Examples include the black sand beaches rich in magnetite and ilmenite. Aeolian placers, these are formed by wind action in arid regions. The wind sorts and concentrates heavy minerals in desert sands. Glacial placers, formed by the action of glaciers, which grind and transport material over long distances, concentrating heavy minerals in moraines and outwash plains. Economic Importance Placer deposits have been a significant source of valuable minerals throughout history. The ease of extraction and processing makes them economically attractive. For example, the California gold rush in the mid-19th century was driven by the discovery of rich placer gold deposits. Even today, placer mining continues to contribute to the production of minerals like gold, tin, and diamonds. Environmental Considerations while placer mining can be less intrusive than other types of mining, it can still have significant environmental impacts. These include habitat destruction, water pollution from sediment and chemical runoff, and landscape alteration. Sustainable practices and proper regulation are essential to minimize these impacts. In summary, Placer or deposits are natural concentrations of valuable minerals formed through sedimentary processes involving weathering, transportation, and deposition. They are characterized by their high density, resistance to weathering, and economic viability, 
making them important sources of minerals like gold, platinum, and gemstones. Formation of placer or deposits Placer or deposits are significant concentrations of valuable minerals that form through sedimentary processes. These processes involve the physical separation of mineral particles from their host rock, transportation via natural agents, and eventual deposition in a new environment. The formation of placer deposits is a complex process that unfolds over extensive geological time scales and involves several distinct stages, weathering, transportation, and deposition. 1. Weathering The initial stage in the formation of placer or deposits is weathering, which breaks down rocks and liberates mineral particles from their primary or deposits. Weathering can be both chemical and physical. Chemical weathering, this involves the alteration of minerals through chemical reactions with water and atmospheric gases. For instance, hydrolysis can decompose feldspar into clay minerals and release silica and other elements. Physical weathering, mechanical processes such as freeze-thaw cycles, root expansion, and abrasion disintegrate rocks into smaller fragments. This fragmentation is crucial for liberating minerals like gold, platinum, and cassiterite from their host rocks. During weathering, resistant minerals that do not easily dissolve or decompose, such as gold and diamonds, are released from the matrix of less stable minerals and rock fragments. 2. Transportation once liberated by weathering, mineral particles are transported by natural agents including water, wind, and ice. This transportation stage is critical in the formation of placer deposits because it results in the sorting and concentration of minerals based on their physical properties, particularly density, size, and resistance to abrasion. Water, rivers and streams are the most common transporters of placer minerals. The hydraulic action of water current sorts particles, lighter and less dense materials are carried away, while heavier and denser minerals like gold settle. The rounding of particles due to abrasion and collision is a hallmark of water-transported placer deposits. Wind, in arid environments, wind can transport fine particles over long distances, but it typically only concentrates the heaviest minerals in localized deposits, known as aeolian placers. These are less common but can include heavy minerals like rutile and zircon. Ice, glaciers can transport and concentrate minerals over extensive areas. As glaciers move, they grind down rocks, incorporating minerals into their base. When the ice melts, these materials are deposited in moraines and outwash plains, forming glacial placers. 3. Deposition Deposition occurs when the energy of the transporting medium decreases sufficiently to allow the heavier particles to settle. This stage is influenced by various environmental conditions. Riverbeds and floodplains, the most common settings for placer deposits are within the beds and floodplains of rivers and streams. As the water flow diminishes, especially in bends or areas with a gradient change, the heavy minerals settle out of suspension and accumulate. Beaches and shorelines, wave action on beaches can concentrate heavy minerals. The continuous movement of waves and tide sorts materials, depositing heavy minerals like ilmenite, rutile, and garnet in beach placers. This process often creates layers or lenses of concentrated minerals. Deserts, in desert environments, Wind can create concentrated deposits of heavy minerals by removing finer particles, leaving behind heavier grains. These aeolian placers are typically small and localized. Glacial moraines and outwash plains, as glaciers retreat, they leave behind a mix of ground rock and concentrated heavy minerals. These glacial placers can be extensive but are often less sorted compared to water-formed placers. Characteristics and Types of Placer Deposits Placer deposits are characterized by their well-rounded grains and the high concentration of valuable minerals relative to the surrounding material. The types of placer deposits are classified based on their depositional environments. Alluvial placers, found in riverbeds, these are the most economically significant and include deposits such as those in the Klondike and California gold fields. Alluvial placers, these are formed by weathering processes near the source rock without significant transportation, 
usually found on hill slopes. Beach placers, formed by wave action along shorelines, such as the black sand deposits rich in titanium and zirconium minerals. Aeolian placers, created by wind action in desert areas, concentrating heavy minerals like rutile and garnet. Glacial placers, deposited by glacial movements, these can be found in moraines and outwash plains. Economic Importance Placer deposits have played a crucial role in the history of mining and continue to be significant sources of valuable minerals. They are often easier to mine than primary deposits, as they require less advanced technology and investment. Historical gold rushes, such as those in California and the Yukon, were driven by the discovery of rich placer deposits. Today, placer mining remains an important industry for the extraction of gold, diamonds, tin, and other valuable minerals. Environmental Impact While placer mining can be less destructive than other forms of mining, it still poses environmental challenges. These include Habitat destruction, mining activities can disrupt local ecosystems and wildlife habitats. Water pollution, the process can lead to increased sedimentation and the release of pollutants into water bodies. Landscape alteration, extensive mining can significantly alter landscapes, creating pits and altering river courses. Sustainable mining practices and stringent environmental regulations are essential to mitigate these impacts and ensure that placer mining can be conducted responsibly. Conclusion In summary, placer or deposits are formed through a series of natural processes that concentrate heavy, resistant minerals into economically viable deposits. These processes include the weathering of primary mineral sources, transportation by natural agents such as water and wind, and deposition in environments where energy conditions allow for the accumulation of heavy minerals. Placer deposits have historically been, and continue to be, important sources of minerals such as gold, platinum, and diamonds, making them significant for both economic and geological studies. Properties of Placer or Deposits Placer or deposits are unique geological formations characterized by several distinct properties that make them significant for both geological research and economic extraction of valuable minerals. These properties include the mineral composition, grain size and shape, concentration, depositional environment, and economic value. 1. Mineral Composition Placer deposits are typically composed of heavy, durable minerals that have withstood the rigors of weathering and transportation. The mineral composition of placer deposits often includes Gold, one of the most valuable and sought-after placer minerals due to its density, malleability, and economic value. Gold is often found in its native form in placers. Platinum group metals, PGMs including platinum, palladium, and rhodium, these metals are highly resistant to corrosion and have significant industrial applications. Cassiterite, SNO2 The primary ore of tin, cassiterite is a heavy mineral commonly found in placer deposits, especially in Southeast Asia. Ilmenite and rutile, these titanium minerals are important for industrial applications, including the production of titanium dioxide for pigments. Diamonds, while typically associated with kimberlite pipes, Diamonds can be transported and deposited in placer deposits, especially in riverbeds. Magnetite and hematite, these iron oxides are dense and resistant to weathering, often forming significant components of placer deposits. Gemstones, including sapphires, rubies, garnets, and zircons, which are valued for their beauty and rarity. 2. Grain Size and Shape the grain size and shape of minerals in placer deposits vary widely, influenced by the distance of transport and the energy of the transporting medium. Grain size, placer minerals range from fine particles to large nuggets. The size distribution is often a reflection of the transport mechanism and depositional environment. For example, gold nuggets are more likely to be found closer to the source rock, while finer gold particles are transported further downstream. Grain shape, placer minerals are typically well-rounded due to the mechanical weathering and abrasion they undergo during transport. 
This rounding is a key indicator of the distance and nature of their transport. 3. Concentration. The concentration of valuable minerals in placer deposits is significantly higher than in the parent rock, making these deposits economically viable. This concentration results from natural processes that sort and accumulate heavy minerals. High density, minerals in placer deposits have a higher specific gravity compared to surrounding materials. This density difference is crucial for the natural sorting processes that form placers. Selective sorting, during transport, lighter and less resistant materials are carried away, while heavier minerals settle in areas where the transporting medium loses energy. This results in a higher concentration of valuable minerals in specific locations. 4. Depositional Environment Placer deposits form in a variety of depositional environments, each with distinct characteristics. Alluvial deposits, these are found in riverbeds, floodplains, and streambeds, formed by the action of running water. Alluvial placers are often elongated and follow the course of the water body. Beach deposits, formed by wave action along coastlines, these deposits are typically stratified and can extend over large areas. The constant movement of waves and tide sorts minerals, concentrating the heavier ones. Aeolian deposits, found in desert regions, these deposits are created by wind action. They are often small and localized, with heavy minerals concentrated in dune formations. Glacial deposits, created by the movement of glaciers, these deposits are found in moraines and outwash plains. They are typically less sorted compared to water-formed placers, containing a mix of materials. Alluvial deposits, these form close to the source rock, resulting from in-situ weathering processes. They are typically found on slopes and are not transported far from their source. 5. Economic Value Placer deposits have historically been of great economic importance due to their relatively easy access and high concentration of valuable minerals. Ease of extraction, placer deposits are often mined using simple, low-cost methods such as panning, sluicing, and dredging. This contrasts with the more complex and expensive techniques required for hard rock mining. Historical significance, placer deposits have driven major mining rushes, such as the California Gold Rush and the Klondike Gold Rush, significantly impacting the economy and settlement patterns in these regions. Current relevance, today, placer mining continues to be an important industry for the extraction of gold, tin, and diamonds. Advances in mining technology and environmental regulations have improved the efficiency and sustainability of placer mining operations. 6. Environmental and Geological Implications While economically valuable, placer mining can have significant environmental impacts. Erosion and Sedimentation Mining activities can increase erosion rates and lead to sedimentation in downstream water bodies, affecting aquatic habitats. Habitat destruction, the physical disturbance of landscapes during mining operations can destroy habitats and alter ecosystems. Water pollution, the use of chemicals in placer mining, such as mercury in gold extraction, can lead to water contamination. Geologically, placer deposits provide insights into the past environments and processes that have shaped the Earth's surface. Paleoclimate indicators, the study of placer deposits can reveal information about historical climate conditions, such as the presence of ancient rivers and glacial activity. Sediment transport mechanisms, analyzing the distribution and composition of placer minerals helps geologists understand sediment transport and depositional processes. Conclusion Placer or deposits are fascinating and complex geological formations with a range of distinctive properties. Their mineral composition, grain size and shape, high concentration of valuable minerals, and diverse depositional environments make them significant both economically and scientifically. While they offer substantial economic benefits, it is crucial to manage and mitigate their environmental impacts to ensure sustainable mining practices. Studying placer deposits not only helps in the extraction of valuable resources but also enhances our understanding of Earth's geological history and processes.